How's it going everybody? Chris here. I wanted to do a quick unboxing of this Gucci wallet that I've had for quite some time. Um, one of my family members actually went to Milan, Italy, and they purchased this out there for me. And this was back in November, so I've had it sitting in my closet for a while. Um, I haven't really used it just because it does hold some sentimental value to me. Um, so let's dive right in. So this is how a Gucci wallet, this is going to be a bifold. It's a black bifold wallet. Um, this is basically how the box comes in. It's a regular Gucci box. It's like all the Gucci stuff, they come into things like this. They come in boxes like this with the black and the white. So we can open it up and it does have this cloth here. It's a nice little dust bag. And then it also does come with one of these little things. So I just leave it in there. So then we can throw that aside. So this is how the wallet comes in. I really do like how thick this cloth is. And then you also got that, the Gucci logo. I don't know why it's like that though. I'll just leave it, so you can see. So this is gonna be a black bifold wallet. I don't really think they have names to them, um, but this is basically how it comes. And this one was actually purchased in Milan, uh, Italy. I don't have the price because it was a gift, but it's really, you know, it's really cool having something, you know, from out there. So I don't, I think I've only used this wallet like three times. So I can't tell you guys if it's, you know, something I would recommend. Um, but little by little, I am starting to use it. And you also get this little guy here. It is really nice, high quality. Um, I know this wallet for sure can take, you know, good wear and tear. It could take a beating. You also get this little, little card thing. Um, there you go, if you guys wanna read, read it. So that. And then we also got this guy here. I don't really know what it is. But anyways, so going back to the wallet, it is, it looks like the leather is pressed. You can see the details right there. Got the GG, the middle GG right there. This is the back. Show you guys the edges so we could take a good look see the edges and then we go right inside and then you got one, two, three, four card slots. See, it's really hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, you got one, two, three, four card slots. You got another four on this side. And then you can actually put, I you know, like uh, other credit cards in here. And then same thing on this guy, on this guy, this side. Let's see, there you go. See, so you could put it in there too. And then you got that Gucci made in, made in Italy. You see right there. You can also take take a look at the stitching. Really nice. I really do actually like this wallet. Um, like I said, it does hold some sentimental value to me just because it came from uh, Milan, Italy. Um, I don't know the price difference. I do know the price difference from France. Um, I did recently go to uh, France and I did purchase some things out there, which is a uh, key ball. 
I think it's a Keyball 45, so I should be doing a review on that one in a, you know in the next couple of weeks. So you can see the stitching there. I don't know why it's like that. There you go. You can see like that. And then as we go inside, it is kind of strange like that. So this is how it is. You do get two spots where you can put your cash or notes or whatever you want. You can see. Stitching again. Yeah, but that's about it. Um, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, really simple, really short. Um, not really much to say about it. I've just used it a couple of times. Um, I mean, that the times that I've used it, you know, I do like it. I feel like it, it could hold up really well. And I think over time, it's gonna give it like a nice, um, like a nice like look to it. Uh, some wallets as they progress to get older and older and older, they just look either worn out or, you know, they look like they're falling apart. I don't see this happening with this, you know, with this Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, you know, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you.